Hey, great big hello to everyone watching this. I'm Allie B. Mac, AKA, a girl whose house is currently being set on fire. Ah, all right, well, pretty sure I would have noticed that. Like, I know, I know I get very in the zone when I play video games, but I'm pretty sure if my house was being set on fire, I would have noticed that. You're watching the first part of my playthrough of Telltale's The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 1, A New Day. You may or may not know this, but a little while ago, I actually posted my playthrough of the finale of the third season of the series. A couple of you guys suggested that I play through the entire series from Season 1 all over again, and since I'm feeling very nostalgic, here we are. With that in mind, let's get right into the game! The game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Clem knows when you do stuff. You're a good guy, bad guy. I, it's always really hard. Like, I, I always think it'd be funny to go through and play, like, asshole leap, but I can't make myself do it. I Every single time, like, I've, I've tried to go in, i tried to do... Can't do it. Too much of a wimp. I don't want to disappoint Clementine. I want to I wanna give her someone she can look up to. I suck at being evil or even an asshole in RPGs. And I mean, this isn't really an RPG, but still, I'm just saying. I promise I'm not gonna get like emotional uh, right now, but God damn it, I missed Lee. I missed him. And I missed this music and it's just, even missed Mr. Chinny Chin Chin. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. These controls are different than when I played them. Whoa. Uh, Why do you say that? Sorry, I'm just thrown by well, the the controls are definitely different prison. than the first time well, I played. I'm pretty I'm sure. Usually, about now I get the I didn't do it. I wonder what other changes have been implemented since and the first say? time I, I say, uh, yep, played this I game, or not the first did. time, but since the last time I played it. He's, oh, I, it's just so weird since I just played, you know, the third season in the series. It's like, oh, these graphics are a little bit, uh, uh maybe Followed your case a, little a step bit. down. Not, not now. to be rude. You're from Macon, then. You're from Macon, then. Yep. I love Came Lee's voice. Atlanta I love everything Lee does. In the 70s. I always wanted to work a murder case. Like that I don't think I've, I've ever seen someone whose chin is actually like that, except for the crimson respect. chin. Rest in peace. A real shame. Now. Except for the Crimson Chin from Barely Out of Paris. Used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Any of that seem important to you? All of it. But that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention, and you'll drive yourself crazy. Here's the. Th oh, that is. I got these are you some old cars. UGA. Anyways, what I was you thinking was. Along? Like, how, so none of you got, like, you haven't you even heard of anything about the zombie apocalypse until, like, n n until really when this happens? You want to know it how doesn't make I any see. sense. Do I have a choice? I got much choice. Sure don't. He picked up on that. Yeah, because I said something out loud. Lee giving him a death stare. I love it. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Not even worth talking to you, dude. Oh, but so, anyways, I like. Sorry, spoiler alert if you don't know, but the zombie apocalypse basically sort of already broken out. And then so Lee sees a zombie and he's like, oh, oh my god, what is, what's going on? Like, you really haven't heard any news reports at this point. This isn't how a zombie. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the I don't know, that's not how a zombie apocalypse He wouldn't stop work. going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fella, 
big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk Fun fact, glasses. this he is actually a reference to the Says comic books. Him. There's a character, Crying I think his name is Thomas or something. Right you sit. Freaking psychopath. Spoiler alert for the comics, so just skip long, the next five seconds. The back of the seat, like, like a fussy baby Rick and the others airplane. run into this guy at the jail, and he kills some people. But he, but because he's got like glasses, he pretends to be all meek and quiet and such. Thomas? What was his name? He was... Creepy, it's all a creepy it pile of garbage. Me. Man. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed in himself. No, he's just a pure psychopath. Read the comics. They're pretty, pretty good. Show. Completely People different than the show. When they believe their life is over. Or at least I wish it was. And then certain well, things align with the you. comics that this really piss me off. Watch out! Watch out! Watch out! This other time. Why are you looking? You're a police officer. Aren't you supposed to be like the king of safety? Like seriously, my man. Not smart. Not smart. But even if you're looking away for two seconds, like when you're staring on the highway, you would see someone standing on the side of the road. Well, thank God we're in the back of the car, but they cannot reach us. Ominous zombie eating noises. I do when I first wake up too. Fuck. Thirsty. What did you cut your leg on? That I never really thought about that till right now. Like I never really. What? What could you possibly have cut your leg on, my man? Hey, hey, officer, are you all right? <laughs> I'm still cuffed back here. Lee, you moron! Are you kidding? There's a trail of blood. Like I know, I know, I know that you just were in a car accident, but there's a trail of blood. He's laying. Face, face down, his body's kind of... Lee. Lee, sweetie honey pie. Why Sugar pie honey bun. His gun out? Well, he's dead and there's a trail of blood, so let's let's just use some deductive reasoning, my man. Kick! God, these graphics. I'm moving. Look at the door. I need to... Drag myself Ugh. out that window. I, I know, I know. I'm sorry. I didn't click on the right one. There had to be a better way to do this, right? Like, couldn't he have just maybe opened it? Opened the door? Anyway. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to question it. Why am I questioning it? You do you. Oosh. That was a very squelchy noise. For real, though, how did he. How did his leg get, like, stabbed? The officer's shotgun is over there. Let's take the shotgun shell now. <laughs> Lee, how did you hurt your... I just don't get it. Anywho. I really wish that we officer. got more into Lee's backstory. Like, I went... Like, we, we learn a little bit more about it, but... Not really. Shit. Oh my god, I remember the first time I played this. Look, look, look at them with their music and everything. <gasps> they knew exactly what they were doing with that. Remember when corpses didn't turn instantaneously? Because I do. Still, for the beginning of the zombie... Actually, we don't know how long Lee's been out, but more than 10 wow. seconds. There it is. And scoop backwards time. Holy shit. Get away from me. Pick it up. Ugh. <laughs> Don't make me 
me do this! <laughs> oh, na I like how he still kind of moves forward a little bit after he's been shot. Oh, that's so gross! Man. His skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? How long has he been dead? When does putrefaction start? I I really have a problem with these like zombie apocalypse movies slash shows because it's like Are you dead? Hey! Are you dead? <laughs> <laughs> nope, actually I am fine. We need to have a talk about you shooting me in the head though, pal. All I was doing was asking for an aspirin, and that was mighty unkind to you. Jesus Christ Lee. Alright, how do I get up? What? Dude, I've played this game before. How do I stand up? Help! Oh, I have to see Lee. Go get Come someone! On! There's been a shooting! I shot a cop in the head when he asked me for some aspirin. And then after I looked at his bra bra brains all splattered everywhere, I said, hey, you, you dead, man? Hey! Oh my god, Lee, you beautiful idiot. So since they use the same couple of models for zombies for the entire season, we should come up with names for them. Not right now, because right now I'm going to just focus on Lee escaping. God, they are... For the beginning of the zombie apocalypse, too, they are very rotten. Like, you think that they would look more human-like right now, you know what I mean? Like, they wouldn't be this rotten. How long has the outbreak been going on and no one knows anything about it? You're so oh, God. All right, why am I questioning the logic of a zombie apocalypse outbreak game? Why am I doing that? Why do I do that to myself? Why do I do that to you, the poor audience? Ouch. That is the only chubby zombie that we see in the entire series. Let's hang out in the tire swing. Hello? Anybody? Lee! Those zombies aren't that far away. Why are you trying to call attention to yourself? Is another problem I have with everything that you do. Lee, I love you, you beautiful idiot. Talk to the treehouse. Clem! Sweet, sweet baby. Anybody up there? Let's just see what else you can say to it. Hello? Anybody in there? Can we say more things? Help! I thought I saw a little girl in the forest. Are you up there? I'm not one of those things. Yeah, Clem. What is this? Oh. Those teacups with some bourbon, if I could. Me too. Actually, that's a lie. I am a huge, huge cliche, and can't. Uh, hard liquor just like I, I, I like white wine. Like every Somebody. every girl Hell my age, and it's me. just so tragic. All right, I don't feel like looking at things because I already know. Hello. Let's just break into this house. Anybody home? I need a little help. Lee, that's not how you, if you're knocking on a door to get help, you knock politely. Like, I'm just, like, no one's here, so obviously we're going to open it. But I'm just saying, like, if, when I'm knocking Coming on someone's in. house to ask for help, well, I wouldn't, I would, okay? like, bang. I would be like, excuse me, pardon me. Is anyone, like, I, you don't, bang, like, you're, that's how you scare people to death. Ah. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. Well, something happened here, Lee. These people might need more help than I do. Well, I reckon so. God. Oh my god, am I gonna be busting out the worst accent ever throughout this game? Maybe! Oh, Clem, that what you was it isn't doing color. Here's the thing. The first time, the first time I played this game and I saw that thing of blood, I was like, wow, gotta be careful. Gotta make sure I'm not gonna slip in it. But 
it's annoying because they make you like it the game forces you to later and it makes me mad three new messages message one left at 5 43 p.m Hey, Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Literally anyway, was trying to walk around it. It's well all insane. Back tonight, so we're staying so let's look at this day. blood splatter, Lee. So looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break. Message two, left at 11.19 p.m. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. And they're not letting us leave and aren't telling us Clem's anything parents. about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left Jug, that random water. The tap should actually still be working for a while. And also, uh, th th there's power, so you can just get water. We love you. We love you. We love you. I wonder how much Clem remembers of her parents. Hello? You need to be quiet. Clem. Why am I so emotional for no reason? Are you okay? Are you okay? I'm okay. They tried to get me, but I'm hiding until my parents come Even though home. I played this game before, I'm going to choose for your benefit the ones that I the like the things that I chose my very first playthrough. Just so you guys get that authentic experience. So even if some things don't turn out well, I'm still gonna choose them again. What's your name? Just because I'm I want you guys Dine. to experience this is my house. Hi, what I chose I'm originally. Sorry. I'm Lee. I feel like How old are you? Eight. And you're all alone? Yes. Lee, did you have to I say that so creepily? Is. How old are you? I'm, uh, 37. Okay. <laughs> that is a very little good Where thing to your ask. Parents? How old are you? Seven. They took a trip okay. and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Are you safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. smart. That's actually see? my plan for the zombie can apocalypse. See is I can see you through the window. Is a Swiss Family Robinson style treehouse in the woods. <laughs> hey there, Sandra. Look at you. You're look at me. I'm Sandra D. We're gonna run and then we're gonna slip on the blood. There it is! There it is! Bam! I'm on top of this. I got it. If I get killed in a cutscene from this game that I've played so many times, I think I'm gonna cry myself to sleep. Ugh. Clem! Sandra D is gonna kill me! This is post Sandy Duco. Uh, this is uh, clearly a post Sandy Duco transformation because she's acting like a crazy asshole. <laughs> Sorry, Clem. This seems unnecessary. <laughs> Ooh, sorry, Clem. How long has she been dead, though, to reach that state of decay? It doesn't. Why am I so questioning? Man. Hi there. Did you kill it? I think something else did. Before me, I think. I heard her scream two nights ago. Maybe one of the monsters she, got her. She got that two rotten within two nights? Yeah, that's probably what happened. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah. I want my parents to come home now. Look at how cute Clem is. I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Look for help before it gets... We Why would we wait until it was it dark and gone. then we can't see things? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, it's not safe at night. 
I mean, it's not safe in the day either. Let's we can go. just see better. Stay close to me. Although I guess I forgot at the beginning of the series, TV show, comic book, this. It, you know, like at nighttime they were more active for some reason. Uh, that all went out the window pretty, pretty darn quickly, gotta say. We're not gonna look for, you don't, we're not gonna ask about a first aid kit first. Like, come on, Lee. Come on, Clem. Oh, Clem, be a little bit considerate. Offer him some bourbon in your nice tea set. Hello. Oh, man. Hello, I dead meat one and dead meat two. This right. This sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? We should leave it. We should. Like, I know that they don't come home. I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close. Okay? We could, but we could leave them a that's note a to idea. E.S. Clementine's mine and say, Hey, we're going this way. Also, we should have said something before pushing hey, open the gate. Holy shit. Don't eat us. <laughs> we're not gonna hurt you. Don't eat us. I thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. Yeah, we're gonna go to the mountains and live in our Smith Family Robinson style treehouse. I'm Sean. There are certain people Sean that I have discussions Lee. with about this, like this is fights. I am right. Swiss Family Robinson style treehouse is the way to go. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. Not How boats. Help us clear the because way other people are gonna fight and us and they're gonna want our boats. My family's farm. It should also, be we can get trapped in the I'm sea with the zombies. Also, what happens if we're. I have some. I'm gonna say babysitter. Uh, babysitter. I said babysitter so that. Out of town. I said. Ba like, I remember Let's I said babysitter the first time Stay so that they wouldn't take Clem mistake. from me. What do you wanna do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. We got it. Yes, Clem! Her strength made all the difference. Way to go, Clem. That's exactly how I would like get into a pickup truck too. Just like sort of whoop, roll over the, the side. That's go. that's my Let's level of grace. For some reason, many people's hey, least favorite season of The Walking home. Dead. My mama's gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Ah, uh, thanks, Mister Person who really needs to shave. Thank God you're okay. Who is this voice actor? I was worried it'd be bad here too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Well, breaking down the way, thinks his mayor's got He doesn't sound as wise as Herschel from the TV show, just saying. Well, I'm All right, glad chat. you took him with you, then. Glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to Trying somebody. Trying to suck up to so him. Wow, that's rude. Daughter, then. Not my daughter. Oh, not his daughter. Racist. He's the babysitter. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Okay then. Well, Clem's like got my back. Pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. 
Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I have. Thanks there, Herschel LeVette. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. How am I? So how are you supposed to be able to tell? Could Through jeans and these not like. great graphics. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's, it's Lee. Lee. Nice to there's, meet you, There's Lee. no reason to, Green. to antagonize him, was my thought. How'd this happen? I don't even remember. It's crazy back there in the city. It must be. What type of danger has the girl seen? The kind there's a lot of. She had a few lonely days with nothing but the dead keeping. No, her. you're okay. Here's I the problem with that. Can't imagine is that. Lee just like Consider clearly lucky. saying, "Hey, the house is full up with I'm you know, a liar." Like he, uh, he like I like I obviously and doesn't matter. Nothing matters in the end. But I'm just saying. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. I'm just saying, Lee is a terrible liar. Been Awful. Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking. Uh, technically, thing I'm tomorrow, not really lying if I'm saying I'm a babysitter because that's what I'm doing. I'm babysitting that until I find necessary. her parents. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone. Oh, <laughs> <has any laughs> look at Clem's face. Your, Your son son's is right. right. You're want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Like, well, I don't... Do what you uh, think uh, you Herschel's should. obstinance is actually very frustrating. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Can't really. wait to meet those folks in the I'll barn! Said, okay. God, well, I forgot how slow this here. opening is. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. You did almost Late nothing. Or the swelling doesn't go down. You're, probably You're just like, dealing oh, with see those jeans? I'm what just gonna wrap here? some dirty cloth well, around them. That's how you heal you. your serious, serious wounds, guys. Well, clean it, redress Poor it. Poor Clem's face. She doesn't okay, like those jokes. That'd be preferable. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow. Which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. All right, then. I do love this music. It smells like... I'm not... I'm not cursing! Manure. Manure? Like when a horse plops? Just like that. Clem is such a baby, a lover. I missed my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Her hat stays on really well. Like, I cannot get hats to stay on that well on my head. Now it's weird dream time when we start dreaming about our wife and the lover we murdered. <laughs> Probably, I think. Did we murder him? We don't really know. I mean, I think we did. It's just... Hey, get up. Like, part of me hates Kenny because he's itchy. just such a dick, but part of me well, also you loves in a barn, Kenny. Little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor you and everything. You freaking idiot, duck. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, <gasps> Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your way to Macon. Well, like Duck is there. Duck is, is, now, is so way, annoying and, and the worst, but also I love him. Like a, a guy oh who my god, knock a couple of heads together if he has to. That's very presumptuous. I'll see what the girl would like. Ah, gotta consult the missus. 
I understand. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. Oh, Duck, you can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever poor, I take a water break. Poor idiot. On a tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Oh, Duck, you moron. I can keep it. ruins eye everything! But it's porch. okay. We can visit. Hey there, girls. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... If she's eight years that? old, she... It's easy. ...should well, have yeah. passed first grade a while ago. Just so saying, should, she should be in third grade right now. Anyway, Clem, it's almost like we were you held back? people eating each other for the past three days. It's peaceful here, no? I learned Clementine is a first grader. Is, is she? She's eight and a first grader. I I really, what I love about season one are these slow moments like this. Like, not slow as in slow boring, but slow, like, you can choose whether or not to go so, through them, but uh, you can take your time and you get to know these characters. Walking around. I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale, like Herschel here, except more with dogs and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that you do, Lee? How I did to teach up Kenny manage to... We need Bag to this hope that we can awesome go back veterinarian to lady. Soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't what does Kenny like do? This. Uh, yeah, my mistake. We'll all be home soon. That was a different. Cho that Why choice wasn't there originally. The city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just. Just. Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. How about I, I get a change tomorrow. of clothes so I'm not covered in away the things we dead stuff? I'm pretty sure that that's not sanitary. Oh. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. At this things. point, you really don't know the extent of it, but those okay, sure. For, right? I'll just, I mean, to be fair. Those gone, what's the point? To be fair, Back I guess uh, okay, they're 100% right, and it, it is completely gone and over, but I'm just saying, like, you know, for all you know, it's just in bacon. Hey there. Uh, Back to before you? this all started. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Him and his true love. Do you need any Cars. Help? What do you mean? I mean, and taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Again, rude. I think I've got it handled okay. As long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe. Sure, that's enough. But what you did Kenny ask learn about me? You're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Well, Kenny. Oh, can't wait for season two, Kenny, is How's all I'm Sunday? saying. We can Good, have a conversation about how we Kachi's raise children, Kenny. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw it's a insane lot of that you didn't get bitten. Upon Herschel's. Uh, we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. Pretty sure my grandpa has that exact same shirt. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my no! boat, I guess. Swiss Family Robinson style it, guys. I'm a that's, commercial fisherman. You know why? Catching mackerel, we dolphin, haven't seen anyone do that? Because that's the perfect Kachi solution be to the zombie it, apocalypse. The and bad. they would all be fine and safe, See. so there would be no drama whatsoever. Like, there would be, well, uh, someone get, like, are the zombies gonna get into our No, they're not going to, because even if they surround it, they, we're up in trees, and they're not. Also, we would be constantly covered in zombie guts everywhere we walked. <sighs> if you guys have seen my other videos that have to do with zombies, you guys have heard me rant about this, so I should probably, probably knock it off. Sean's still working on that fence. 
This is a really crappy fence, my man. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Cool, cool, cool. I'm helpful. I can saw stuff. What does he mean by? My dad doesn't know how bad it is. Well, no, he will real he soon, my man. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid, a boy. Just shot him right in the face. You're seeing this right in front of Duck. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes, and pulled the trigger. Well, he's you don't alive. See like that. So... It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... I don't understand why you. Sometimes it's kill or be killed. I guess. I don't think I'd sleep good after that. Oh, I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Okay, Dad Sean. To keep the family sure. Safe and I'm glad you won't forget that. Other people in as a bigger uh, threat than whatever's out there. Oh God. I hope that everyone yours? who's watching this How's your has, family? Has, already knows what's gonna happen. My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. Oh, duck, you s And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my dad around... We are the main character of this video game. So, leaving us behind would have would been... I mean... Would probably end the same way it? for you either way. Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. My favorite okay. history nerd! Oh, idiot child. How you doing, Duck? Good! I'm gonna drive the tractor! I'm the foreman! Lift with your back, Sean! How you doing, Duck? Oh, Good! Right. I'm gonna drive oh, the tractor! Oh, I was hoping he was gonna say something new and interesting, I'm but instead... Foreman. Lift with your back, Sean. Oh god, I really, really hope if you're watching this that you already know what happens. <sighs> Is it bad etiquette of me to spoil things that are about to happen in five minutes? Like what's what's the what's the procedure with that? For a series that came out in 2012. I was still in high How'd school when this came out. Really out. Jesus Christ. I was on my way out anyway. Timing of all this just happened to be right. Huh. If there ever is a good time for the supposed apocalypse. Suppose this farm's a nice plot You'll of see, land. Herschel. Huh. You'll see. If you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. Uh, you got a you I got a that? really growl of too? Yes. Oh, Where's your family your now? Where's your family Parents, now? Why, girlfriend? You really belong your wheels. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. I hope they're all right. And now you've got How do you get your voice like that? Do you Clementine, just... is it? You just stumbled up rocks? on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I'm straight up admitting that I wasn't her babysitter, essentially. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? Be honest with people is what you're going to tell me. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did, but you better become a better liar and fast. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. Oh my god! I mean, I agree. You definitely do be need to become a better liar, but I'm just saying... If people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. I'm barely so lying. I'm barely lying. Keep it to your damn self. But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. What? Oh, here we go. No, I'll get my gun. First time I played, I went straight for the kid, just FYI. Uh, 
Um, side note. Side note, even if you go for Sean, that doesn't change anything. Yeah, Lee, punch him in the head! I got you. gravelly voice Herschel who just chugs gravel every morning Ugh. yeah that didn't end so hot Get out. there it is time to Get strike out on our own out of here. we're, we're going sorry. sorry your son is alive you don't get to be sorry and you, you didn't even try to help. Oh, well, I... Uh... I thought I could help them both. If mm -hmm. Kenny hadn't been such a douche, we definitely could have. And now, please, just go. Get out and never come back. So you know that zombie that we punched in the head and is now dead? Well, like, why isn't he... He should be... I mean, like, maybe he was stunned, but he should be uh, getting ready to come back and chomp people, right? Kenny, you say thank you. You've got that ride to make it if you want it. You're welcome, son of a bitch. Well, now that we've killed his son, let's get going. Cherokee hardware. Harry antiques and something else that well, I can't see. This is as far as we're going. And it's far enough. Douglas Elf Supplies. Everything good. Why am I reading on the signs? Oh, hey, I just saw on Kenny's uh, truck there's like a little surfboard thing. Kenny can surf! <gasps> the image of Kenny surfing, I think, has just brought me new Look. life. I think everything's amazing. No, hey don't. There. You friendly? Trucks run out of no, gas. No, you idiot. Why would you even? Fuck. Dumbass. All right, so what are we going to call these zombies? Does anyone have any suggestions? How? Duck didn't get bitten there. I will never know. Carly! Oh, Glenn. Oh wait, Glenn! Last time I played this, things were so different in the Walking Dead universe. So different. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die, either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. Hey, guess what, we Lily? You're not are in charge. Dangerous. Well... Worse, they couldn't let them right to us. We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. Not right now, Clem. I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Did Glenn's voice just sound super weird to anyone else? Common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. That's not what if I meant. You were in my shoes, you'd be the. Holy shit! Son of a bitch! One of them is bitten. No. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No. I'm cleaning him up. There's no bite. He's fine. Don't you yeah. fucking people Can you give him a god? Like, Larry, give him five seconds. The bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. Give him we five seconds. Him or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him. Hey, what do we do about this Thanks. guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, I'll handle this. What's your heart, Dad? You need to calm down. We reason with him. 
the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. No, I'm still, I'm still siding with Penny. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna shut punch up, him immediately. Lily. And you, I'm trying shut to the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get God, in. God, I forgot here, how unpleasant this not. man is, and how but much now, I strongly, strongly dislike him. With one of those things. How about maybe you give him a second? He's bitten. That's how you turn. Give him a second. He's not give him a second. Please God. stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Do you? You're not fucking acting like it. What if this was your daughter? Never would have happened. She's not some snot-nosed toddler, okay? She's United States Air Force. Ooh, ooh, ooh. You and her. I'm gonna kill him, Cat. Just worry about Duck. No, really? how about everyone take a second? Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're what, just the guy arguing for Why can't we just He's wait five seconds? She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does... The first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Oh my face. god, why is he so then, dramatic? When she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. She'll turn fast. And then, there'll be three. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy He's is... He's not! Happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now! Larry, can you stop it? No! Don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've what the hell? I'm trying to protect it here too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. You better have a plan to kill me though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> Let's talk about escalating stuff. <laughs> so he's poopy zombie. Oh, seriously, Lee? Come on. And that feels like a good place to pause my gameplay. I'm gonna be honest, guys, it feels kinda good to have the gang back together. I mean, to be fair, I know the horrible fates that await each and every one of them, but for now, I'm having fun pretending that I do not. Can I just have fun for once? Comment below, let me know what you thought about this part of my playthrough. Also, important, what are your zombie apocalypse survival plans, all right? Would you, Go in a boat. Would you do some underground bunker? Would you Swiss Family Robinson treehouse it? Let me know what your plan would be in the comments. I'd like to win a bet. Also, don't forget to comment below with ideas for AKA intros and I might use yours in a future video. I also want to say thank you to the aptly named Firepixel who came up with the idea that I used for this video. Well, since I'm in no rush and I have nothing better to do with my life, I guess I'll just take some time to beg you guys for likes and subscribes. Yeah, if you want to see more content like this, subscribe to my channel. If you liked this video, press the like button. Also, apparently there's like an alarm or a bell button you can press to get alerts. I don't know. You've got all the time in the world to talk about it. I'm not in a rush. Thank you guys for watching the first part of my playthrough. I'm going to have the next video up very soon, so I will see you then. If I don't get cooked alive.